god! Right, that was a lot of information. Oh, the little better. That's it. Oh, Christ alive. Lists, limericks, and um, everything. Arr, Ooh, no. There is a plot device used in some mystery fiction known as the unreliable narrator. In these cases, it transpires the person telling the tale may themselves be more involved than you were led to believe, and they may not have been telling you the whole story. Here at Highly Suspect HQ, we've taken this tried and tested concept of the unreliable narrator and made a stupid game out of it. Our murderer-in-chief will record himself telling a short murder mystery tale, which, like all of our mysteries, is 100% solvable with the information provided. This will be sent to one of our elite team of regular suspects, who is only allowed to watch it once. They will then record themselves trying to recount the same story to the best of their memory, before sending their version to another highly suspect individual, who will do the same. This chain will continue until everyone in the team has retold the tale, at which point we'll watch it back together and see if anyone has been able to solve the mystery told by a string of unreliable narrators. And even if they haven't, the result should be, well, highly suspect. Greetings to all you amateur sleuths out there, and welcome to my confession. For those who don't know, my name is Michael, and I'm the murderer-in-chief for Highly Suspect. And today I'm celebrating having gotten away with murder for a staggering 10 years. It all began on the evening of the 8th of March 2014. Anonymous, a mysterious antiquities collector, was found dead in an art gallery, wherein, ironically, a man was framed. Of course, my first murder would be in a museum. I've always been an exhibitionist. The deaths of Agatha Mystery, Donald Trump and Olivia Broadchurch soon followed, before I saw the light of day and started killing people with actual puns for names instead. Once you've had the pleasure of murdering an Oliver Worlds stage, Victoria Sponge, or Sue Denim, you'd never look back, even if you do sometimes stumble onto a real name by mistake and accidentally invoke death threats. Still, at least the inevitable anagrams are usually easy to see through. Sadly, there's no time to get into my personal methods and motives, because I'm afraid to say, if you're watching this, I'm already dead. I've been murdered by one of my regular accomplices, and I need you to help catch my killer and figure out how they did it. How do I know I'm going to die? Well, I received this through the post. <clears throat> this helpfully isn't some puzzle, or else murder hastens a struggle. But everything ends, named punning offends. Inevitably some owner's neck ends decouple. D Both a terrible limerick and an obvious threat, but nevertheless, just like my advent calendar, my days are numbered. The most likely suspect is Lexi. She's known of my crimes the longest, and she's tried informing the authorities on numerous occasions, but was speaking too quickly to be understood. She'll likely strangle me with an ugly guilty, ugly tie. Next is Seb, the most handsome man in any given room. It would behoove him to end me after his many conniptions for me constantly referring to the most handsome man in any given room shtick. He'd shoot me. He finds poisons a bit iffy. Alice could definitely be my killer, as she claims my impression of her subtle and gentle northeastern accent is a crime in itself. She hides it well, though. Her Australian is spot on. I sometimes wonder if she's been replaced by an Antipodean identical twin. She drowned me in cake mix. Just desserts. Joe is high on my suspect list, as I present him with increasingly impossible alliterative lines to learn. Could cruel and complicated copy compound his compulsion to kill the creator? He'd make me choke on my words. Literally. Poppy is devious enough to do it to kill the sinister mystery curse that inexplicably seems to follow in her wake. How? Well, poppies are poisonous, aren't they? Polly is far, far too nice to be my killer, even if he did want to announce that he wouldn't piss on us if he was on fire. So, if I'm drowned or immolated, maybe it's him. I showed each of the suspects the threatening limerick and asked who they thought did it. Handily, for the purposes of runtime, they all answered in one succinct sentence. Seb said... It'll be Lexi. She flew to the top of my suspect list faster than I was up and down Scrooge's flu in a Christmas killing. Poppy said, I think it'll be Polly, because it's always the one you least suspect. Why? I don't know. Anagram or something? It's always one of those, right? Lex said, it'll definitely be Joe, because Joe remembers all the stuff, and when I catch his eye, he smirks and I smirk, and he smirks and I smirk at him, and he smirks at me, but it, it, he's the smirk of a killer, so it'll definitely be him, not me, because it's his smirk, not mine, so it's him. Polly said, it's Heather. I mean, Haley. I mean, Alice. 
can I get a first name right? It's a surname that's suspect. Uh, why is it her um, cake? Joe said Poppy. 100%. She's the newest. She's killing to make a name for herself. Done. Let's go. Because he gets more northern the longer he talks. Alice said, Why aye, man, it's definitely Sir, because if you think about it, the clue is a limerick and he loves writing those. It's like his favourite thing ever. So, according to the clues, it can only be him, man, didn't you know? So, who done it? Who killed the murderer in chief of Highly Suspect? Me. The answer is like the sapling growing in the middle of the alphabet. Elementary. Alright, folks. <laughs> Happy anniversary, the big one -o. Um, Let's get into this because this has the potential to be painfully long. Um, so let's go, girls. Welcome to my confession. I am highly suspect murderer in chief, Michael Spencer, and I have been committing and getting away with murder for 10 years now. It all started on the 8th of March, 2014, when Antiquities collector Anonymous was killed in an art gallery and of course my first murder was always going to take place in a museum. I've always been an exhibitionist. We. Oui. Um, after her followed Agatha Mystery, Olivia Broadchurch and Donald Trump before I saw the light and started killing people with punny names like Victoria Sponge, Sue Denim, and all the world's a stage, because once you do that, you never go back. Um, although sometimes you stumble across a real name and start receiving death threats, but not to worry, because those anagram pseudonyms that people sign those with are usually very easy to see through. Now, sadly, we've got no time to start looking at my motives and methods, because... If you're watching this, I'm already dead. There we are. <laughs> if you're watching this, I'm already dead. Killed by one of my regular accomplices. And I know this because I got a nut through the door. I didn't bring the prop. There was there was a prop. I didn't bring the prop. But c'est or whatever the French say. Um, and the nut said, the letter said, this helpfully isn't a puzzle. We use the word helpfully very loosely. This helpfully isn't some puzzle, or else murder hastens a struggle. Because everything ends. Named Punning Offense. His last line is nonsense. Because everything ends named Punning Offense. I know it's odd. Because everything ends named Punning Offense. And some owner's neck gets decoupled ish maybe something like that anyway at that point I, I should tear up a nut but I, I didn't bring a prop so pretend I've torn up a nut um so yes it can only be one of the regular the usual suspects um Lex is the most likely suspect Lexi um because she's known of my crimes for the longest. She's even tried to report me to the police on multiple occasions, but she speaks too quickly to be understood. Um, oh, and then we listed the methods as well. If she was going to kill me, I think she would, oh, she would strangle me with an ugly, guilty, ugly tie. There's also Seb, and it would, behoove him to do me in um, because of his conniptions because I keep harping on the most handsome man in any given room shtick um, but he would shoot me because he thinks poison is iffy there's also Alice and she could definitely 
kill me because she thinks that my impression of her oh what did he say my impression of her subtle and delicate northeast accent is a crime in and of itself but she hides it very well because her australian is spot on it's not they're Australian spot on and sometimes I think she's maybe been replaced by an Antipodean identical twin Antipodean yes if she was going to kill me she would probably drown me in cake mix because just desserts Joe sure also quite a likely suspect because I keep giving him increasingly impossible lines to learn could all oh, those an alliteration thing could could copy cause calculated There's a lot of C's. I don't I'll leave it there. Um, if Joe was going to do it, he would make me choke on my words, literally. Um, Poppy also needs to be looked at closely because she is definitely devious enough to have done it to end the mystery curse that seems to follow her. Um, how would she do it? Poppy's are poisonous. Um, who's left? Polly! Polly. Something about him being too nice. Polly seems like he'd be too nice to do it. too nice but he did once say something about he wouldn't piss on any of us if he was on fire so if I've been immolated it was probably him now all of the suspects were asked who they thought had done it and handily they all answered in single sentences for runtime um, because I'm already oh, I'm fast approaching the 10 minute mark um, so when so Seb was asked Seb was asked he said it was Lex. She flew to the. No, awful, awful impression of Seb. Hang on. Come on, come on, She flew to the top of my list faster than I flew up. Scrooge's flew in a Christmas killing. When Lex was asked, she said that she thought it was probably Joe. Because. Joe always remembers all the stuff and the things and every time I catch his eye he smirks at me and then I smirk back and then he smirks at me and then I smirk back and his is definitely the smirk of a killer um, but it's always his smirk, it's definitely not mine, it's his smirk that's definitely the killer. Um, when Poppy was asked, she said um, that she thought it was Polly because it's always the one you least expect. Why? Uh, I don't know, probably something to do with an anagram. There's always one of those, isn't there? Um, when Paul, he was asked, he said, um, I don't know, probably, I don't know, uh, probably, probably Heather. Oh, awful, try again. I don't know, it was probably Heather and Haley and Alice. I, I don't know why I can't remember her first name. It's it's her surname that's us. Uh, why? Or how? I don't know, probably something cake related. Um, 
who's left? When Jill was asked, who said, <laughs> probably Poppy. I mean, she's the newest. She's, you know, she's the newest one. She's most likely, the, you know, she wants to make a name for herself. I mean, is, have we got it? We're done? Sure, let's go. Because he gets more northern the, the longer he speaks. And when, when Alice was asked, she said, with an eye twitch, and I'm not say, well, it was probably Seb, because the clue was written as a limerick, and Seb loves to do those. So all the clues point to Seb, so it, it absolutely, it has to be him. Divinia na. Divorce. Um, so, that's it. That's all you get. Uh, it's time to solve who done it. And it should be um, as, as easy as the sapling growing in the middle of the alphabet. Elementary. Seamless. Okay, so my goal here is to bring Alice's 10 minute video down to five minutes, which should be easy, given I can't remember what was said 10 minutes ago. So let's go. Um, hello, this is the last will and testament and confession even, right, good story that, of Michael Spencer, the murderer in chief of Highly Suspect. I have been laid down and slain, um, and you are going to solve it. Highly suspect, it all began 10 years ago on March the 8th, 2014, with the murder of Antiquity at the museum at... It's a museum, at a museum at Tully House. And subsequently I killed... That's when I first got away with a crime. And subsequent murders included um, Agatha Mystery, Olivia Broadchurch and Donald Trump. But soon I discovered there was a better way to go about things, by killing people with pun names. Everything's better with a pun, such as... Oh... Oh... Um... Victoria Sponge died, and... And... Uh, uh, and... Sfield Park, and the one from Etu Shakespeare, whose name I can't remember. Professor Oliver Wells' stage. Pun names are the way forward. Um, but... Or anyway, you can't. You can also hide a pun's anagrams in threats, but it's never those. So don't worry about that. That's wholly irrelevant, unless it's not, and it's vitally relevant. Either way, if you're reading this or watching it, I've been found dead, murdered by one of my regular um, fellow murderees suspects, and I know it was one of them because they sent a note. I prepared a note, Alice. See, um, and they sent me a note. And it, it said something vital. The note said, To solve murder is more than a puzzle. Um, even this should be less of a struggle. Um, puns, puns, just think about a pun. Um, the pun, it may be bad puns of a name of this terrible game um, and I hope your neck isn't decoupled um, some of you think you are you sir may think you are clever um, and maybe you could do better I'm off the script sorry guys I'll have to make this up um, and um, if we use our brains we can end this refrain and the grim reaper will do not bought endeavor and then i tore up i tore up the note i tore up the note um anyway onto the suspects there was lexi who could mirror my suspects i think lexi could have done it because she has known my methods the longest having been there from the very start um but when pressed she simply said guilty guilty ugly tie uh, it could have been Seb, but Seb wouldn't have poisoned me because he'd have shot me because he finds poison if there. Uh, Alice could have done it, um, but she's more likely to have drowned me in cake mix because she's an excellent baker. That's just a fun fact. Um, Joe could have done it because he gets grouchy about giving all the really hard, long, complicated lines. He doesn't. He takes them really well. Um, 
because he could always remember them. Paulie might have done it because Paulie. How would Paulie have done it? I can't think. But there's no reason Paulie would have done it. Paulie's too nice to have murdered anyone. So maybe he's so nice he wanted Michael on ice. And Poppy could have done it because if Poppy, Poppy, Poppy. Why would Poppy? Poppy wouldn't do it either. She's so nice. I can't think of a logistical reason why people would kill people. Um, Poppy could have done it because because she doesn't like Michael's moustache. Reason enough. Okay. Um, each of the suspects were questioned in turn, and they were allowed to give a one-sentence answer as to why it wasn't them. Here come the impressions, folks. Godspeed. Seb said, Well, it, uh... Mm, I'm trying to do Seb doing Cumberbund. Um... But it couldn't possibly be me because uh, I no 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 it wasn't why it couldn't have been them it was why they were why who they thought it was Seb thought it was Lexi because Seb said <clears throat> um, mm, Lexi uh, flew to the top of my list as fast as I flew up Scrooge's chimney as a boy mm, I'm Seb because uh, he's not this um, a bit more laid back I'm Seb and Lexi could have done it because she uh, flew to the top of my list as fast as she flew up I flew up Scrooge's chimney as a boy. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, everyone. Lexi said, um, oh, it's definitely Joe because, um, Joe and I, um, caught each other eye and we were smirking, but it was a different smirk, and I was smirking at Joe and Joe smirked at me, and that's what happens in the industry, we just smirk, but Joe's smirk is smirkier than my smirk, so therefore it was Joe. Um, Pop P said it was poorly because Poppy said, oh, her voice said, oh no, bro, no. Oh, he's so nice. Irish, Irish. Uh, Northern Irish. Northern Irish. I'm so sorry, Poppy. Uh, Northern Irish. I can't do either. Oh, Polly's so nice. He wouldn't do a thing to hurt anyone. But, I oh, I'm accusing him, so he must be suspicious of something. Maybe, maybe. I don't know what. He wouldn't piss on me if I was on fire. Har. Polly? Thought it was Poppy. No, Polly thought it was. Who did Polly think it was? Polly must have thought it was. Who did Polly think it was? Polly thought it was. Alice, because Polly thought it was Alice because. Um. Oh no, Polly thought it was. Uh, Scottish, Scottish. Polly thought it was Heather because Heather. And Haley, oh no, her name's Alice. I can't actually remember her name. But her first name isn't sus, her last name is sus. Scottish. Um, Scottish. Or, no, no, but the reason I don't do these guys. Um, and Woodsworth is, her last name is, is, is sus. So, her, it's her. And she likes to bake, so she would have baked him to death, iced him to death. Anyway, um, then Joe thought it was Pop. P because she was the uh, oh well, because um oh well because uh what what Joe was um because it was he, she's the she's the newest one so she wants to kill people I can't what accent am I even trying to do here Joe Joe no saying Joe doesn't help me uh, she's the newest and therefore it could be her and guys guys Chamune it's all gonna be fine um Chamune Chamune probably Poppy though because she's the youngest yeah. Not youngest. Is she the youngest? I don't know. She's the newest. Either way, Poppy, Chamune, um, what, and other of, of Joe's catchphrases. Um, and then finally, is that everyone? Is that everyone? Maybe that's everyone. I did an impression of everyone. Yeah. Anyway, and then finally, Michael said, Oh, one of you suspicious, um, but we don't know who it is. Um, but you'll solve it like the alphabet, like the, the tree, the, the four in the middle of the alphabet, the elementary idea solving this case. I have a crisis of confidence. Happy anniversary, guys. Good luck with that. Oh, bugger, I forgot Alice. Um, I'm going to shoehorn her in here. Okay, Alice. Alice said... Alice accused Seb, I think, um, and said of him in Michael's terrible impression of Alice, which is what I'm harking back to. But either way, I can't do it all, an accent, an obvious accent, so I apologize again. Um, oh, no. It's... It's Seb. <laughs> Oh no, PJ's gone blind. Oh no, it's a Seb because she doesn't sound like this. Um, because he he finds poison if he oi oi up the north. Uh, 
small Irish, my like Northern Irish. Um, and so I think it's him. Hi. Oh no. Yeah, I should have left it out. Oh Christ alive. Lists, limericks and um everything. Okay. <clears throat> Greetings, fellow sleuthers. This is the last will, testament, and confession of Michael Spencer. If you are listening to this, then I am dead. And I am without doubt that one of my fellow murder mystery suspects is responsible for my untimely demise. But to begin with, I'm going to tell you a little about why I do what I do. Because you see, this all started some 10 years ago when I created my first murder mystery and I murdered Antiquity in Tully House. Now, I was very green back then. I didn't know entirely what I was doing, but I got away with it. And it would seem as though that pattern of getting away with it has continued, although my methods have been significantly refined since then. Since antiquity died all those years ago, there have been many others. Um, God knows who. I mean, lots of them. I only remember the funny ones. However, I quickly realised that just killing people didn't quite scratch that itch that I had. And so, I decided to kill people with punny names. And that, that is why, after that initial surge of death, you then had people like Victoria Sponge mysteriously dying. You had Mike Ingham for a horse, tragically losing his life. You even had, for a more festive murder mystery, devotees, Frank Incense sadly becoming dismembered in his locked office. But these were all successful crimes, but unfortunately, I myself have become a victim of a diabolical mastermind. But who could it be? Definitely one of my murder compadres. Let's run through the list quickly. To start with, we have Lexi Ward. Lexi is known for a unique take on interpreting words and creating her own, if none will suffice to really get across the point that she's trying to make. Would she be able to kill me? Mm, she could definitely bring herself to. She knows all my habits after all. Then, of course, we have Seb Coombe. He also struggles with staying within the boundaries of the pure gold that I've written sometimes and will go out on tangents here, there and everywhere. Not to say that those tangents aren't in their own way special, but they do go on for a bit. Uh, we also have, of course, our regular murderer, Joe Desborough. He's been with us not since the beginning, but he's definitely made his mark. He's a cunning little fellow and would absolutely bring himself to rise through the ranks by murdering me. Of course, we also have Paulie. He has put in his hours. Um, a bluff old cove. He is absolutely capable. But if he has the wherewithal to kill me, we'll have to see. Of course, Poppy is our most recent joinee is absolutely going to be top of the list. She would do anything to advance herself in this star-studied industry that we find ourselves. But maybe she'd want to keep low, who knows? And finally, of course, we have the most suspicious, second wife, Alice. Now they say that she doesn't bear me malice, but I don't believe her. I certainly don't believe that said, there is some evidence, this screwed up note that was found that had 
Christ, what did it have? It had each. Weirdly, it had bizarrely and, you know, relevant to the case. It had everyone giving a reason why they thought it was somebody else who had killed me. First off, we had... It's going to be a random pick and mix of people accusing other people. Enjoy! First off, we had Lexi, who was absolutely sure, absolutely sure that Seb had done it because... Well, I'm posh and don't care about other people. That was what she said I would say. she That's what she said Seb would say in that situation. God, this has gone meta. <coughs> um, Seb was next. He was under the distinct impression that uh, Paulie was the one who had killed me, Mike. Um, oh God, the fucking accents. Well, no, next person. Seb! Seb thought, Seb thought, blah, 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 blah. Seb thought that Paulie had done it, yes, because why not? He is Scottish and they have been known to kill people in the past. Oh, the English did that more. Um, never mind. He just probably did it. Paulie thought that it was probably Joe, because Joe is just, he's just like the worst. He can, he could quite happily smile at you and then stab you, not in the back, but in the front. And then deny it had ever happened and everyone would believe him. Um, Joe thought that it was probably Lexi. Because Joe has a suspicious mind. This isn't Joe's voice. Joe doesn't have a voice. He's just got, no, he doesn't have an accent. It's got a personality. Joe thought it was probably Poppy um, because Poppy was the newest of the bunch, uh, and therefore, you know, she would like to she would like to um, lead us all one day by killing off our writer. Mm. Oh God, Poppy! Poppy thought that it was probably. Uh, This isn't going to go well. This is, this is going to offend a lot of people, probably. Um. Oh my god, Poppy! Poppy probably thought that it was Alice because, well, frankly, she's got far too much on her plate. She would absolutely just kill Mike just to just to make sure she had some more free time. Because, frankly, being asked to do all of those fucking murder mysteries is just oh, it's time consuming, is what it is. Alice, who I, Michael, say is from the Northeast, but I've main her, mainly heard her be evil, so she's going to be evil in this book. Um, Alice thought that it was probably Lexi, because Lexi is the only one that hasn't been actually accused yet of anyone else, because we've gone in a semblance of order here. And so it's always the last person, whether it is or the last person or not, it doesn't really matter. Um, anyway, this, this note was found, dear God, that's eight minutes already. This note was found um, crumpled up next to my body. It's not relevant, probably. And if it is relevant, there's almost certainly going to be some deviously hidden message somewhere inside written by someone who has disguised their name in some way. Whatever it is, it's sure to be excellently declaimed by one of these cast members. But which one is the most suspicious? God knows and good luck. Okay, that was a lot of information, so we'll see how this goes. God, right, it's me, Michael. Look, my eyebrows up. I'm meant to be Michael Spencer right now, just so you know. Mm, here's me. Hello! If you find this tape, I'm doing my evil mastermind voice because he's spooky. If you find this recording, then I have been murdered. I have been killed by one of my f fellow suspects, I presume. But before we get into that detail, let me tell you a little bit about my tale, about me. So, I've made him really 
you know, I think you're lovely, Michael. I don't know why I've made you such an evil ego villain. Um, so I started this a long time ago, when the death of antiquity in Tubby House. And then it's kind of progressed from there, but that wasn't enough for me. I needed something a little more. So I started killing people with punny names instead. We had Victoria Sponge, who drowned in her own cake mix. Um, we had... Um, we had uh, Frank Incense for some of our more Christmas viewers, who was dismembered quite badly. And obviously Doug for, uh, Dr. Doug for Treasure, tried desiccated in a museum. Things were going well, but it seems that one of my fellow suspects has decided to murder me. Now, the only thing you might find useful, the only, oh no, that's later, forget that. We'll go back to that. Let's jump ahead a little bit. So who could it be? Well, firstly, could it be Lexi? Now, Lexi, uh, the, another murder, murder chief, helps run all this whole thing. She knows a great deal about me, but does, could she have the motive in order to want to, to, to off me? There's, let's not forget, Seb, Seb. Oh yes, Seb. Oh, Lex and Seb both share a uh, uh, a wonder in, in in making up words now and then, and 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 Seb especially is a walking thesaurus, coming up with all sorts of things in a beautiful, charming way. Um, but is that enough? Would that would would that be a reason for murder? Who knows? There's Paulie, who's done a, a great many shows with us now. Um, he certainly could commit murder, but but. Would he really want to? What would be his motivation? There's wee Joe here. Joe, this cunning little fellow, um, who certainly would possibly seize an opportunity to, to take control of the top spot, should uh, the need ever arise. Then there's Poppy, a new member to Highly Suspect on several shows and constantly looking to climb up that ladder. Would she kill the person in charge just to ensure a place within Highly Suspect? And of course, Alice, a close friend. But is there malice behind Alice? I suppose we'll find out. Um, <laughs> by my body, there was only one bit of evidence, a crumpled note in which all the different suspects were accusing each other of different things. Like, pointing to each other. Let's run down the list now. Apologies in advance. I am terrible at voices. So here we go. <clears throat> well, f first there's Lex. Oh, noise! Goodness me, scary. Um, well, first there's Lexi. I, Lexi couldn't do it, but I'm convinced it has to be Seb. Absolutely, it has to be Seb, 100%. Ooh, loud noise. Um, <laughs> it has to be Seb. Uh, I can't remember why, but um, I'm sure it must be him for some reason. Who knows? And then there's Seb. I'm, I'm Seb. Sebastian, I should say. You know, and I personally think, if you're asking me, then it, 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 it has to be Paulie. It must be Paulie. Paulie must would do. He'd have the determination. He'd want to to off me from the top spot, and I definitely think he could do it. Yes, yes, Paulie. Yes, Paulie. Sweet Jesus, I saw. So Paulie, Paulie. I think it's wee Joe. Joe, you know he he try to take the spot from Mike. I think he would. This is a. Terrible accent. Moving on. Me. Hi. It's Joe. Uh, I. Um, um, I want to keep this in. Uh, I. I. I don't have a voice. I'm just a personality, which I really enjoy. Thank you. Um, me. Uh, I think it's Poppy. You know, I think it makes total sense. She's she's here for the top spot. Uh, she wants to get it. She's going to kill the rest of us off. I'm worried for my own life. Just putting it out there. Now there's Poppy. Now Poppy's going to hate this little number, because I don't know where I'm from at all. <laughs> but Poppy thinks that Alice might have something to do with it now, because Alice always, she tries so hard and she's so busy all the time, um, that maybe she could do it. Maybe she could now, Father. <laughs> and then there's Alice. Ooh. Look at me. 
aloof, slightly unattainable. Um, I'm Alice, show to shove, row the hair. Um, I'll play her like an evil villain too, since she's in her villain era. So, <clears throat> Alice thinks it's Lexi, mainly because Lexi is the last person on the list of suspects to go. But someone so close to Mike, surely, could be able to find a way to discreetly silence him permanently. And that's it. That is all the... Oh, back to... That's it. To me, Michael. That's it. That's all the evidence you're getting. Um, hopefully, the clue will be in there somewhere. I highly doubt it, because the person recording this video seemed to miss out the vast majority of detail. However, you know, as per usual, I'm not hopeful that they're going to solve it. But who knows? We might get lucky. And that's it. Christ alive. Sayonara. <laughs> God! Right. That was a lot of information. And I've just got to try and remember the order. Oh my God. I can't remember anything. My brain. Uh, okay, so... Uh, yeah, so... Different voices, so... Uh, <clears throat> Michael. What, what's Michael like? Oh. Hello. 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 Michael. I'll, I'll do one of Michael's voices, so... Uh, maybe do it as a... Um, oh! Oh! It wasn't me! Oh! Yeah, that's good. Um, hello! I've been found! No, oh, that's terrible. No. <laughs> oh, God. A man on the edge. Right, um... I'm just going to do it normally then. Uh, hello, Michael Spencer here. Mm, mm, eyebrows, eyebrows. Mm. I am the chief at Highly Suspect, and I have been found killed. Mm, yes. Oh. Um, a crumpled note behind, beside my head, and it's up to you to solve it. Yes. Now let's run down who it could be. Mm. So. That tried to kill me. Yes. Ah. <laughs> it could be my partner in crime, my murder in chief S. Lexi. Oh, yes. She's always trying to get to the top spot, you know. Yes. Uh, so she could have maybe come and offed me and killed me. I'm not really sure how I died. Can't remember if that was. No. No, the dead. No, that wasn't in the last one. No. Um. So yes, it could be it could be her. I mean, she's done pretty much most of the murders. Yes. Oh, that's it. Uh, sorry, uh, just to digress here. Uh, when I started writing murder mysteries, I started in my first murder mystery, killing off antiquity, and then I started making up punny names so I could kill off those people. And there was Cherry Bakewell who drowned in cake batter, there was Doug for gold, who was, oh, I don't know that one, so yes, he was killed too, and then there was a couple of others, yes, but, so after that, that's when I got killed, so fast, rewind to the bit before, uh, so Lexi, yes, she could have been the one, you don't know, oh, I rather. Um, uh, or it could have been Paulie. Yes, Paulie's done a few, well, a few cover murder mysteries. So maybe he's just been covering his back. You know, you just don't know. He could be the one who's tried to off me and take away my business. Yes. Um, but, uh, or it could be um, Joe, because Joe, again, has done quite... Oh, Seb, it should be... It, could have been Seb, because Seb has done quite a lot of mysteries too, yes. Um, so, uh, could have been him. <laughs> could, could have been Poppy. Poppy's quite new to uh, Highly Suspect, but uh, she's, do, she's done a lot of murders recently, so maybe she's seen the top spot and wanted it, I don't know. Mm. Uh, or it could have been Alice. Yes, very close, me and Alice. So maybe she decided she wanted to take me out. And so, therefore, take over. But, uh, well, I think that's everyone's uh, popular. And Joe, of course, Joe. Joe, yes. 
he could it could have been him as well not really sure why Is there a reason there was probably a motive but i can't remember it haha <laughs> Um, so the only thing to do is to run down uh, the list uh, in the crumpled note that was found beside my body and maybe decipher some stuff for that. The first person on the list was Lexi. Um, oh, what the, oh, 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 there's a door. Uh, oh, but she, she's, she's Yorkshire, but she's, uh, yeah, she's from Uddersfield, but she didn't sound like this, so, but we wouldn't know this anyway. Oh, Uddersfield. Oh, oh, I'm Lexi. Oh, yeah, no. No, it, it couldn't be me. No, no. Because, you know, I wouldn't want to do that to, to Michael. No, it was definitely... Oh, oh, who else could it be? Oh, it, it definitely it was Seb. It was definitely Seb because, you know, he obviously wanted to take the top spot. Um, can't for the life of me. Oh, there's, oh I'm scared. Oh, there's a noise. Uh, can't, can't remember why, but, oh, Seb, what a... What a rogue he is, you know. Um, he he likes to come up with some crazy, different ways of saying some of the lines. Uh, what, what a thesaurus he is! He's a, like a walking dictionary. Yes. Whoa. Um, so yeah, it was definitely Seb. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, Seb, 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 cool, Kim, Seb, cool, Seb, cool, be. Hello, uh, my name is Seb, and I definitely did not kill uh, Michael Spencer. No, not at all. Why would I want to do that? I think it was actually uh, Paulie. Yes, it was definitely Paulie. Yes, he's definitely looking for the top spot. So, uh, yes, here we are. Uh, definitely think it was him. It wasn't me. Uh, yes, and then Paulie. Oh, I'll, I'll just... This is me, isn't it? Oh, um, it wasn't me. Oh no, no, I wouldn't want to take that over, no, definitely, so it couldn't have been me. It was definitely... Was it Poppy next? Or was it... I don't know, because they, they, they... Both accents sounded the same, so... I'm going to go with Poppy. Paul was definitely Poppy, yes. She... Um, or was it Joe? No, we'll go Poppy. Oh, it was definitely Poppy next. Top Poppy. Oh, it was definitely how they did it. So we'll swap up the Poppy. Uh, n no, no, no. I'm Nor I think she's Northern Irish. I'm not sure. She's either Southern Irish or Northern Irish. <laughs> of course she's either Southern. <laughs> what a detective. Um, <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Ah, you say it wasn't me. It was someone else. Yes, I know. I know who it was. And it was that bastard Joe. Joe Desborough, definitely him. He's been trying to get uh, the mean job for a long time, you know, trying to hold out, hoping that Mike might pass the, 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 the script over to him. So I think it was definitely Joe, yes. Apologies for that accent. Irish people in general and Poppy. Uh, so, Joe, Joe, um, yeah, oh, I'm Joe. Hi, yeah, oh, hey, just, you know, it's all good. Um, so, yeah, no, I don't think it was, I don't think it was me. No, not at all. Uh, it was definitely, um, definitely Alice, you know, because she's done quite a few mysteries. Oh my god, it's fucking, uh, sorry. It's, I apologise guys, I'm waffling. Uh, no, yeah, so I think it was probably Alice because Alice is like, oh, you know, thinks it's, you know, um, he wants, she wants to take the top spot off Mike. I haven't realised that everyone said the bloody same thing, but never mind. So yeah, I think it was Alice. And then we've got Alice, okay. She's from um, Middlesbrough, isn't she? Or oh, somewhere. Oh, um, I'll just go hi, hi, hi. And you know, the hair, oh, beautiful hair. Oh, I'm, uh, Oh, look at me. Oh, oh tits. Ah, ah. Um, uh, yeah, so, I, oh, couldn't have been me. No, no. I know everyone thinks that because, you know, we're quite close to me and friends. But, but you think it's got to be Lexi, hasn't it? Because she's got close to the top. Oh, okay. I still think it was Lexi. So there you go. Definitely Lexi because she wants to take the top spot away from Mike. So there you are. That's 
my impression of Alice, which sounds absolutely cockhole like her. Oh, so there you go. And then back to my, yeah, yes, yes, so. Mm, my brush, my brush, mm. um, So there you go, that's nine minutes long. Um, so you should be able to solve who killed me from that. <laughs> Absolutely not. I apologize to whoever gets this last. Um, I could put the excuse that I'm tired and it's been a long day, but my brain's like a colander. You put information in it and it instantly falls out. So I'm lucky that I can remember on me. But have a lovely time. Enjoy doing this. You know, it's 10 years. Fabulous. How, how happy I am for these guys. Lovely. Thank you. Bye. Well, how have we got to here? I'm just going to give it my best shot. Whatever happens, happens. It's been a nice run at Highly Suspect. If this is how I go, at least I'll always have this traumatising video to look back on. Thank you, Polly, for that 10 minutes of stuff. Here goes my dignity. Let's start with my goals. Channel my inner murder in chief. Hello! My name is Michael Spencer. I am murder in chief here at Highly Suspect. It's been 10 years now, and finally, one of my suspects have went and killed me. So, yes, I have been found dead. Polly emphasised the eyebrows. I have been found dead with a crumpled piece of paper by my hair. And it's up to you lot to solve who done it. And you should be able to with all of these amazing clues that I have probably really, really, really worked on for a long time. And then my suspects have went and shat all over them. Pardon my French. So let's go through who it could have been. It could have been my murderess in chief, my partner in crime. It could have been Lexi, who was with me from the very beginning, whenever I first wrote my Murder at the Museum murder mystery for Tully House. It was a one-off murder mystery in which I killed off, I think, her character, Antiquity. Maybe she was a bit annoyed about that. And maybe she was seeking revenge. And then Polly digressed a little bit, he went back and he said, oh yes, as Michael, I have killed off many suspects before my suspects finally offed me. I have killed off Cherry Bakewell in the Great British Bloodbath. You're very gruff, Michael, on this. I'm not sure what's happening. Uh, Cherry Bakewell, she died in her own cake batter. Uh, it, it could have been... I killed Doug for gold. Polly doesn't remember, and I certainly don't remember how he died. And then there were many others as well. Again, I'm sure there was a lovely list uh, describing all of the murders over the years, but Polly couldn't remember, and I can't either. I'm not going to try and make them up. Then, the only thing left to do as Michael is read through this list and see who it could have been. I'm not actually sure who where Michael's from, but he, I think he's from Carlisle, but he doesn't sound like he's from Carlisle, so that's a mixture of many bad accents. Anyway, it could have been Lexi. <gasps> me? No, 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 it's definitely not me. I would never do that. That's murderous in chief. No, me, never, 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 never. It couldn't have been me. No, 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 not me at all, no. But, you know, who could have been? Now, working through these mysteries along the years, I, I think that it might have been Seb. He's a suspicious looking, Rogue takes down glasses, looks at a piece of paper very intensely. Yes, yes, I believe it could have been Seb. Yes, 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 Seb. <gasps> Me? But they were uh, in Seb mode now. Me? Definitely, most definitely not me. Yes, and I believe Lexi also said something about me being a human dictionary, which is very flattering, very flattering indeed. But no, definitely not me. I think that there are many other suspicious characters, suspects that we could look at. One of them being that Polly one. It, me, I don't think. Oh, that was nearly, that was nearly magnets from D&D. &D. Whoa, Polly's Scottish, I'm from Scotland. 
I'm from Scotland. No, definitely not. Couldn't have been me. Um, we're gonna roll with it. No, definitely not me, no. Um, I think Seb said something about me covering for a lot of murders and I'm, I'm very grateful for that. No, I would never kill the murderer in chief. No, there's been a murder. <laughs> no, I think it was, um, <laughs> I think it was Poppy. I, she's a bit suspicious, Poppy. I think it was Poppy. Thank God, go back to doing my own accent. Although I'm gonna do it as Polly doing my accent because that's quite funny. Um, no, I, no, I, no, I don't think it would have been me. What am I? Am I Irish or am I Northern Irish? It's one of the two. Ha ha. I, it couldn't have been me. I know that I've covered and stood in for a lot of murder mysteries, but it certainly wasn't me. No, instead, I think it was Joe. <gasps> Joe, I'm sorry. <laughs> Actually, it couldn't have been me. No. Poppy. Why would you think it was me? I have worked with Michael for a very long time and I really adore him. I adore Highly Suspect. So actually, no, I think it might have been the murderess in chief herself. I think it was Lexi. And I've missed out Alice. No, yes, so as, as Joe, I think it was actually Alice. Actually. Joe has a Kira Knightley fascination, by the way. That's why they're actually, that's where that comes from. But if it needs explained, then probably shouldn't say it, should you? Anyway, waffle and rubbish, because I don't know what comes next. Alice, Alice, why I pesh? No, I'm only joking. Um, Middlesbrough, but kind of a posh Middlesbrough. <laughs> Me? No, no, it's not me. I got on really well with Michael. And yeah, we're really good best mates, we're best mates. So no, no, definitely not me. Um, sorry, Alice, I'm so sorry. You know I love you. Um, no, definitely not me. Also, just a disclaimer, I really fancy Poppy. Just saying, just thought I'd get it out there. But murder, no, no, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lover, not a fighter. And I'm also apparently from like Yorkshire or something. I'm gonna stop this now before it gets to 10 minutes. I'm sorry, it's already in seven. Anyway, back to Michael. Yes, so there you have it, folks. You have all of the clues that you need to solve this mystery. A crumpled piece of paper by my head. It was one of my suspects, but who done it? That's up for you to solve. Happy 10 years, highly suspect. Thank you for making me do this.